moving forward, I don't think we've seen the full benefit of it yet. But the um, application of mass spec, GC mass spec, GC MS, MS techniques uh, to a whole field of lipidomics um, is enabling us to identify really compounds, products that we simply couldn't before. Uh, and I think that will have a big impact going forward. We've seen a trend towards more concentrated products. Um, so as recently as 10 years ago, we were really dealing with natural concentrations of these fatty acids, um, where you were looking in fish oils at levels of 12, 18, 20% uh, concentrations of the nutritional fatty acids of interest, the EPA and DHA. Now we're working increasingly, you're seeing in the market products with 50, 60, 70% and pharmaceutical type products with 90 and 95% concentration. Um, and I think that is a trend that will will continue. We'll see these high concentrated products moving from the pharmaceutical sector into the supplements sector. And I think as our understanding grows, we'll start to see more differentiation in product forms. So moving away from or not moving away from, there'll always be the market for the standard triglyceride products, but we're also seeing phospholipids and other lipid forms um, coming along. We're starting to understand better their role in nutrition. Uh, I think that will be a, an area of interest in the future also.